peace, peace. It's your boy Dollar Mitchell checking in. Um, I'm dropping the, the stories, touring with Red Man. A few adventures and fun perks and type of history. It's my history, you know what I'm saying? It might not mean nothing to you, but it means something to me and us. Make sure you get your ginger shots. My hand a little ashy every morning. You know what I'm saying? I rush out early. Got the ginger shot. Raw ginger, not the ones you buy, it's already made. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I watched the other video I did. Oh man, I know I was rushing, it's dope. Just trying to get it all out there. I'm gonna make a few corrections. Um, in the early days, before the Red Go Wild album, I skipped the malpractice. That's where the real nigga song was on. That's where the bullshit was on. Those are the early, early days. And also, Mirror Image, before the Giller House, before the Giller House headquarters on, on, um, on 9th and 45th, Mirror Image was also on, um, by Brian Park. It was two Mirror Image. So we used to go to the other Mirror Image first. A lot of music was recorded in the first Mirror Image too. Let's not get that twisted. Um, and like I said, man, it was history, man, just going up there with it in the early days, being quiet, I'm like a fly on the wall. I'm in there 13 hours with these niggas, like, I'm just on the wall watching these niggas work, watching Red show Ick how to do it, watching niggas put together these songs and all that. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from watching these dudes, man. And I, I just hope the, the world get to hear some of that music one day, you know what I'm saying? Because these niggas laid some classic music together, and Ick got a bunch of joints by himself. He had to do at least three, four albums with Red. And I'm talking about professional albums with, with that Red made him go back in that booth. Red called me to the studio, stack. Come, it, when I'm in the booth, when I'm there with Ick, he spit different. I'm not trying to be funny or not, but it's just the vibe from the hood, I guess we got coming up together. It's a whole different vibe than when he in there alone with Red. So it's times when Red would just call me to come to the studio to sit at that board so he could lay this shit right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what was going down. So, um, yeah, man, we was laying, we was going to the studio a lot, laying a lot of shit. It early days went on tour with just the twins and Red and them. And um, that's when Red and them did the, the, the U video for the um Blackout, for the Blackout tour. I know Ick was up in that video with them, running around, you know what I'm saying? Early days when Rock Wilder just started Music Park. Shout out to German Luger. Look up the freestyle and the Funk Flex mixtape with Ick Dawn, Red Man, and German Luger. Shout out to my man German Luger. He another one, that's a whole another another video to do a story on a real official German Luger. Came out of Brooklyn, low life, Bush Street, in the upstate Albany, you know what I'm saying? DJ Twins took him to get the deal. Niggas caught the check and everything. I don't know what happened with that, that's another story. We gotta talk to the Twins about that. But we was there, man, we was there when Keith Murray came home. Shout out to Keith Murray. I remember being in the studio when Murray came home. And he was like, oh, niggas got jewelry now, niggas got this and that. He see the trucks and all that. He tapping niggas chains and playing around. I'm looking like, oh shit, that's Keith Murray. You know, that's my first time seeing Murray. So it is what it is. I got a story about Murray too. <laughs> when we was at the show in Hammerstein Ballroom, when it was <laughs> some funny shit, but Murray's a real nigga. We had a lot of fun meeting Murray, kept it, kept it thorough. I remember he was like going to the store to buy box cutters and shit like that. That's a whole nother story, man, but yeah, man. We was there. I'm not sure if Ick and Mary got a song on, but um, I know for sure that um, Ick definitely is on a Eric Onassis album. He's on one of them albums with with, with with a bunch of dudes, Side Sky, Red Cafe, a few other guys on that track. With Eric Sherman, early shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, man, it's a lot of shit that supposed to go down that that was going down. I want the world to hear that music, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just my days touring with Red Man. I didn't even get to the tour yet. Just the early stages. I'm telling you how we all got together, how I got around the camp to be able then to go on tour. These are days when Ick was going on tour by himself, bringing, coming home with the stories and the tapes. You know, I was just rocking the studio with him. And then there was times when, you know, these are days when I was begging Red and them to go on tour. Not literally begging, but Ick hitting him up. Yo, let's that go, yo, woo, woo. This and that. Then it got to a point when I would just pop up in certain spots. Because like I said, I had the funding from Big Dre, BDR Records. Look that up too. Shout out to Swiss Beats. But I had the funding from BDR Records to pop out everywhere. So some, at the beginning stages, I was just like, where y'all going to be, Texas? All right, I'm popping out. I would just go to Texas. You know what I'm saying? Or I would just go to um, Florida. I, I, go to, I go to L.A. 
Wherever niggas was at, I was popping out. Like I said, I wasn't letting my son it go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, I'm going to be there. So putting in a year or two of that work, you know what I'm saying? Niggas did some classics, man. Let me go to the early days. If you go to Funk Flex Mixtape, you hear the first freestyle with Red Ink that went public to, um, to the Puffy and Mace beat. Nobody could hold me down. Check that out. It's a classic. And then it went to the German Luger freestyle. Um, you got to hit It Meets Red Man freestyle. All that shit, just Google is on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? But I swear to God, tell you no lie, it's some bangers that the world is missing that's in Red Man vault. So we got to get Red to put them shits out, get It back on track and see what's up. That's why I'm doing these videos here because the world got to hear the story. If nobody else going to tell your story, who, who else going to tell your story better than you? So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if y'all want more. Make sure you get your ginger shots. I'm about to hit the gym, you know what I'm saying? A little early, I'm a little ashy and all that, but I like to drop it early when it's fresh in my mind. When I'm going to get my coffee, I'm going to get my tea, I'm going to get my little breakfast or whatnot. But trust me, Google Icadon, Icarus, Gilla House, you see the whole beginning. And I'm going to keep giving y'all the facts about it, man. Good morning. Have a good day, all right? Imagine, get your autograph. Where you going? See, shit like that happened. Try to interrupt the video. They sent a decoy through. Fat ass though. But you, listen, real talk, me stay on point. Let me stay in focus. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ikadon got a few mixtapes out too. You can check on um just Google on that piff and all that. Ikadon K Slay. He got one of those, got, got that joint, got a few joints, man. Sure he threw me off. Let me end the video right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck it up more than what it is. Like I said, I'm gonna come back and do more videos in the studio or do some videos in the, um, sitting down with the whole podcast set up. I'm just warming it up right now, seeing if the people want this. You know what I'm saying? I got the whole story about me and Vinny Idol 15 years deep before the D block, before all this shit, when me and Vinny Idol rocking out 16, 17 years old, rocking in his crib, you know what I'm saying? All his brothers in the other room and everything locking in. So we're gonna bring y'all the beginning of this, 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 the Vinny Idol story with me. Um, Icadon, Money L, and Red Man, and we're gonna go deep into the tour. Next session, I'm gonna hit you when we met Tretch, cause this big part of the story too. Cause I was hitting the clubs up every day, man, hitting hard. Um, what it was, um, what it was called, Lobby? Was it Lobby or some shit? I know it was on 23rd, of course, you from Justice. We was hitting that club, we was hitting all the clubs up, and one night I ran into Tretch on a humble stand into the line, and that's how I met Tretch, and the rest is history. I'm no check. Oh shit, what up? It's a legend. Yo, Red, bring him to the studio. Yo, it's on. Two songs deep with Tretch. Run around in a movie with Tretch. Mad shit like that. So stay tuned. Hit the, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like channel. I'll be right back. I'm going to drop more on you.